Today I'll be showing you how to install the Tor web browser on Kali Linux. That's right, Kali does not come with Tor by default. You'll have to install it manually. And the question on how to install it on Kali gets asked quite a bit. So first off, you'll wanna make sure you have an internet connection and open up the default web browser in Kali, which is Firefox. Let's then go up top and actually search for Tor and press enter and you'll be looking for something that says Tor Project under torproject.org. I'll post a link in the description below so you can also access it like that. Anyways, on the website, we're gonna scroll down until we see a download Tor browser. And then to download the Tor browser, you're wanting to select whichever download image is necessary, whatever platform you wanna run Tor on. Of course, we're running Kali Linux, so we want the download for Linux version. You can also download the signature and make sure that the download you're making is secure. Anyways, hitting download for Linux will launch a download. It's around 100 megs, and you'll notice it's a tar.xz file. All that means it's an archived compressed file, much like you get a zip file. So we're going to wait for this to download. And while we're waiting, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe below for tips, tricks, and programming all on Linux. Now, once the download is completed, make sure to show all your downloads and then open up the location of the download. Otherwise, navigate to your downloads folder by yourself. I'm actually going to bring up the desktop in the background because this makes things easier. What you'll notice here is this Tor browser Linux. 64 for a 64 bit processor and this is currently an archived compressed file so much like a zip file you have to uncompress this to get the contents so how do we do that just double click on it you actually have an archive manager built into Kali Linux that can open up and decompress whatever's inside this archive file notice what we have here it says Tor browser and it's a folder of around 260 bytes what I'm going to do now is drag and drop that on my desktop and give it a few moments to extract all the files from the archive file to the desktop. Once it's done, I'm going to exit out of these two and double click on the folder. And you'll notice two things here, a folder called browser. Don't touch anything in here. Instead, in the main folder, the Tor browser folder, you'll notice this start Tor browser desktop. This is actually what we want to start up but before we do let's go down to properties and just confirm our permissions are correct the owner here is Kali we have read and write privileges great the group is also Kali other access is none but the most important thing you want to check is here at the bottom program make sure this is checked here allow this file to run as a program otherwise it will not actually run the Tor browser once you double click on this file so now that I've checked all that out I'm ready to launch Tor browser so I just double click on here and guess what give it a few moments and look at that Tor browser browser is now launched. Things are ready to go. And you'll notice right here, if you want to use the browser over the Tor network, basically connect to a relay or node and mask your IP address, you can by hitting connect right here. Otherwise, you're going to be using this like a normal web browser and the IP your internet service provider has provided to you. Anyways, one of the best reasons to use Tor is because you can use this option and hit connect. You'll notice this is a line going across the top of the web browser here as it's connecting and establishing that connection to one of the relays or nodes here in on the Tor network. It might take a moment, but you'll notice it says connected up here in the right corner, and now you can start browsing for things. How do I know that it actually applied a new IP address for me? Well, I'm just gonna go to YouTube real quick, and depending on which node or relay you're connected to, it might actually take a while to load things. You can't expect all too much, and that's really it. As you can tell, I'm on youtube.com right now with the Tor connection. It thinks I'm in Germany currently because of the IP address given, and that's it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button in order to get this video sent to more people through the algorithm. Know that you're helping them too. Again, subscribe below, hit the notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in another video.